are you doing today? I hope everybody is doing well and that you are ready for a video where I changed up the angle a little bit. This is an experiment, so let me know if you like it. In today's video, we are going to be doing a short tarot reading about the topic of people pleasing. And uh, this is a topic that I have wanted to talk about for a while now. And I believe that it's a very, very important topic. And a lot of people struggle with it. So I definitely think that it's a good idea to discuss it. People pleasing is basically a phenomenon comes from ego. So it's very important, I think, to note that people-pleasing is not a selfless act. It is an act of pleasing the ego, first and foremost, and soothing our anxieties in a toxic way. So obviously, since we are social animals, we tend to want to get along with other people. And that's fine. But when it becomes a uh, an automatic response, almost, that we want to uh, make everyone around us feel the best and that we want to cater to their egotistic desires whatever it may be then it becomes a problem because let's say someone asks for a favor that you have no time or energy for you're really tired and you just don't feel like doing it but you feel like it's your responsibility to do it and this is a favor so it's not like it's a matter of life and death so in reality you're not letting anyone down really um, so you don't want to do it, and you have this strong reaction within your body of not wanting to do it. Yet, you decide to proceed, and you do this favor for the other person. And what happens is that you s slowly start resenting the other person, and uh, maybe you're not even, you know, admitting to yourself that you feel this way. But it's certainly, certainly happening. Because you couldn't say no. So, it is actually a thing that is harmful if you decide to do it. And you only do it because... You have this sense of obligation and not because you want to genuinely help the other person, not because of your empathy, not because of your love, your compassion for that other person, but only because it is a, an obligation, a duty. It's poisonous to that relationship. And I want to emphasize this, it's also poisonous to your health. 
actually doing things uh, only because you feel like you have no other choice and doing that on a on a regular basis is a very unhealthy habit so in this reading we are going to try to find a way to stop this habit or minimize it because people who have been acting like this for a long time people who are really used to people pleasing it's a hard habit to break but we are going to try and we are going to ask the tarot what needs to be done in order to take the first step so and I think this is a such a huge huge trap because everybody or most people have a natural inclination to be good and obedient and that's fine but when it becomes a self-sabotaging uh, factor in your life then it's bad for you on an individual level and it's also bad for society on a larger scale because there's people who are mad at each other or one another there's people who are resentful, bitter people who feel like their freedom has been taken away from them and so that's not good I believe that it is always better to choose freedom so let's see what the cards would like to tell us try to find that one card that is going to illuminate our awareness and is going to help us figure this out We've got the card of the Two of Wands and it's called Dominion in this deck. Now, the thing about the Two of Wands is first of all that it is a card associated with the element of fire. And, as you can see, these two wands are crossing one another. So it is inherently about creating boundaries and about keeping harmful things away. So in that regard, it's pretty similar to the Two of Swords. But it's also different because it is a card of natural aggression. It is a representation 
of the core of every action. The fire element is associated with passion, motivation, drive, creativity, and the two of wands represents this primal, archaic, very simple source of energy of just being in the moment and being engaged with the world on an active level so this is the level of the body this is the level of movement of being dynamically linked to the world of being energetically involved in the moment so this is not about thinking this is not about theories it's not about emotions it's also not about material considerations this is a sign that whatever action we decide to do we need to give our entire being, our entire heart and soul. And allow the entirety of our being and our energies to engage with the given action. It's very important that whatever we choose to do, whether we choose to say no or whether we choose to help someone that our soul and heart is in it and if we say no if our first instinct is to say no I don't want to help you I don't want to do this not I can't do this not I'm not allowed to do this. I don't want to do this. To take responsibility for your lack of willingness to get along with someone. Sometimes that's the most valuable thing that you can do for another human being. Enabling, for example, toxic behaviors is it might seem nice on the surface but it's actually a very negative thing and it's very harmful and saying no in that case is a more a more loving action so it is complicated but this card is telling you to stop moralizing i believe this is the most important message and since this reading is for people who struggle with people pleasing tendencies I'm assuming that you are someone who has good intentions who wants to help others and that you are generally kind and selfless so this is not for those people who perhaps struggle with egocentricity and uh, um, a lack of consideration for others so this is specifically for these people who um, who have a hard time saying no and, and want the best for everybody burning themselves out in the process so stop moralizing stop justifying your people-pleasing tendencies Whenever there's a bodily reaction, there's an intense resistance, almost on a cellular level. Please listen to it. Do not feel ashamed of it. Do not feel guilty about it. It's a natural reaction. 
It's your body telling you that you don't want to do this. And it's okay. And whenever someone is really in need, when they are really vulnerable and they really need your help, I'm a hundred percent sure that you will not feel this. You will not feel this sense of uh, dislike and and repulsion in your body. What you're gonna feel instead is an urgency to help. So you can trust your body, you can trust yourself energetically, your body knows better than your mind. And it knows when you are being used, when you are being taken advantage of, when you are, when people are trying to uh, exhaust you energetically and your body is going to say no so I think this is the most important message here is to just listen to that intuitive instinctual in, in, instinctual is that a word instinctual level in your in your body the level of instincts perhaps that sounds better Start listening to that, and whenever you feel this force, you know, repelling you, then you know that you're not supposed to do it, and just say no. You don't need to be uh, impolite. You don't need to be mean. But please, say no in a very cordial fashion. Very calm, but confident. Just say no and see what happens. And oftentimes, the reactions that you get from your fa friends or family members or even strangers who are being told no to are quite surprising. So if there's a hysterical reaction, if they are throwing a tantrum and they start arguing with you, then you know that their request, first of all, wasn't serious, because if it was, they wouldn't waste time trying to guilt trip you into doing it, but they would just keep looking for someone who can help them. And second of all, you know that they are um, using you. If they cannot graciously accept that you don't want to do something for them, then it's a reflection on them. And it's not a sign that you are doing something wrong. It's a sign that these people who are reacting this way are insecure and entitled. So, yeah. I think the bottom line is to remember that you don't owe anybody anything. Even if it seems that way, you always have the option to say no. Because you don't have to be an angel. You don't have to be a savior. You don't have to look out for everybody. What's most important is that you look out for yourself.